Okay, now it's time for video 7. In video 7, we will be actually doing the install for OpenStack and Juju, getting that going. Uh, we Last video we did some testing on one of these nodes that we deployed. Uh, we want to return that node to the pool so that he can spin it up while he's doing his uh, OpenStack install. Uh, Maz, it has this stop node feature and I think it's supposed to actually shut the node down but I have found that it does not so really the stop is pretty much useless uh, if, you re if you come in here and you release a node so you just hit release it will go back to the ready state uh, that does not mean the node is unavailable it just means Maz no longer cares about it and if Maz decided that he wanted to use that node or or you wanted to acquire it again, he would start from scratch. He'd pixie boot him, throw an image on him, he'd be brand new. But now that he has you could and that node is still standing. Uh so you could acquire it again and bring it back in and so that Maz has control of him again. But we want to return it back to the pool. So I just released him, uh but now that node is still setting out there spinning. So let's log back into that node and since I can't seem to get the stop to work we're just going to shut him down. Shut it down with a dash H for halt and let's shut him down now. He's gone. Okay. Uh, now that he's down uh, I like to clear out my SSH handshake so when we boot him up each time he's a different server no matter if he's the same IP address and SSH doesn't like that so I clear out the the fingerprint uh, for this IP address and I just did it not too long ago and it's this command here uh, if you don't do that he'll complain if you try to log him in again and he'll make he'll force you to uh, to run this command so he's he's gonna complain about there being a man in the middle attack but it's just a it's another it's a different server different fingerprint with the same IP that's why he's complaining so we'll just go ahead and clear it out now and we want to worry about it later okay the node has now been returned to the pool everything is ready ready to go let's flip back to our guide our cloud install guide. Uh, there is a lot they left out in between here and there. Uh, as you can see, we did a lot of configuration, uh, all kinds of different things. What they, the biggest thing they don't tell you when they want you to install OpenStack is you have to put Juju on this box first. Uh, there is no way it's going to work. It's not going to install Juju when you do these commands. Uh, so that's one of the first things we'll do. Let's we'll go ahead and get the OpenStack install going so it can download it. So just right on your Maz server, we'll start installing OpenStack. Pretty easy. Uh, and we're gonna put Juju on because you have to have it. And Juju's on. Okay. Juju requires some initial configuration to be able to work. Uh, there are, I'll put all, there are many great guides. This is the Ubuntu Quick Start uh, Juju guide. Uh, we'll be using that. For Juju, you have to have your API key. If you go to root preferences, uh, there's your MAS key. Now, this is you have to have this key this unique key for Juju to know what MAS server he's allowed to use you might have multiples uh, who knows but you have to have this key so let's go back to the terminal and actually let's go back here quick start okay so you have to create this folder and this YAML file this environment YAML file uh, so Juju knows what your what mass server you're trying to use and, and what he's you know what his series is and all that good stuff. 
So let's go create that. So let's make sure he's not there already. There's nothing there. So we're going to... It's it, also important to note, do not sudo these. You want these directories and Juju and all that stuff, you want them to be as your user ID because that's the SSH key that he's going to use. Uh, if you sudo these, it's going to put them in there as root and then uh, OpenStack and Juju will not be able to talk to each other. So there's our Juju directory. Let's go into it and let's create this environments file. Let's go out here and make sure I get the right name. Okay, blank file and I'm just gonna start here and we'll edit it from there. So let's paste that guy. Okay, so yeah, the environment is a MAS environment. Our server puts your um, you can use either one uh, of the interfaces. Right there, that's the MAS server. That key that we grabbed, key, make sure you keep your ticks. Uh, let's go back, I, I copied something else. Let's grab it again. Copy that guy. Put him in there. It's an ugly key. Uh, I'm also going to paste that key right here because we're going to use it here in a little bit. And we actually have to type that stupid thing in. And I won't, I won't say any more about that. Anyway, uh, put you a secret in here of some kind. Um, I don't know. I'll use one of my uh, standard passwords and pick the type of series that you want. That said precise. That means that was 12.0 uh, Linux. We have been using Trusty, which is the 14.0. Uh, so I'm just going to continue using Trusty. So there we go. Now we can save this file. X, Control X, Y, Enter. So saves good. There it is. Notice it, we own it, so that's always good. Uh, so Juju is installed. Let's just do a Juju status, see what he does. Okay, environment is not bootstrapped. That's a good thing because OpenStack is going to bootstrap him, uh, and we want OpenStack to handle that. So now that Juju's installed and this guy doesn't say anything about it uh, we can install OpenStack and let's get going OpenStack has this GUI it's not super helpful but type in a password that you'll remember we are going to do the full landscape OpenStack autopilot uh, just so I can show you how it works so leave that X and hit confirm put in an email because that will be your login uh, put in the ID of whatever ID you use on your Maz box uh, Mass server IP 10.1.1.100 and this stupid API key you have to type it you cannot copy and paste in this landscape GUI and I feel like filing a bug report because that's ridiculous so you grab that key that you pasted in here and you have to be exactly correct caps lowercase numbers it has to be exact or that will it will fail every time so let me punch it in here. Might have to stop in the middle of this and drink some coffee or something. It's, it's a long road. Oh, almost got me. That's a capital W.
Don't blame me if you fast forward through this part. Okay. The, the pink is also really hard to read. I'm going to double check it because I hate punching this in for nothing. Because if it fails, you start from the beginning. And you got to punch it in all over again. Okay, looks right. Hope that was as painful for you as it was for me. And if it's right, he's going to come out here and talk to Mass. And to get the OpenStack install going, you just have to have one node for Juju to spin up. But he says, hey, uh, you got six machines out there, which we do. So let's continue. Now, he's bootstrapping Juju. So he, if you come out here to your Maz GUI, he grabbed a node and he's allocating he's deploying him right now he's installing what he needs to get Juju going on that node powered him up he's working on it that's good uh, the Juju bootstrap takes about 400 seconds I'm not gonna make you sit through that and they prepare landscape for about 10 seconds and then they download landscape and it takes like 15, 1600 seconds. So I'm going to let the video keep going, but I will speed through it. Uh, and then w at the end, we'll talk about the, the login and all that good stuff. So sit tight. Uh, we'll go through this as fast as we can. Okay, OpenStack has now been installed. It is completed. Uh, it went through uh, deployed Juju, deployed OpenStack. Uh, downloaded landscape, spun him up, and we're ready to go. It gives you the username and password that you need to use to log into the OpenStack GUI, uh, and then the address that you need to go to to pull it open. So let's just open a browser. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the middle of this video here. Uh, it, I forgot to tell everybody something very important. Before you try to log in to any of these 10.1 addresses, from Internet Explorer, or from your browser, from your PC, uh, you're going to have to have a route statement, and I forgot to say that. Uh, so you can do this a couple of ways, uh, but before you try to log into that URL with that uh, to go into the OpenStack landscape client, you're not going to be able to get there because you're on a different network. So you have to route that traffic uh, from your network to that network. Uh, so if you have one machine you're using, you can just throw a Windows route statement, route add, in there. Uh, I'll put the uh, the command to do that on the website. But you can just uh, you have to take you have to route all traffic that is meant for this network to this gateway address, which is the address of the Maz box. So he needs to go there. That that's how that works. Or an even better way is if your router supports it, uh, you can do a dynamic route. So, th and this is what I've done. Uh, any traffic from any PC that's on your main network is going. You set it up just like this. Uh, it's going from any any network any traffic that needs to go to this 10.1 network from anywhere in the network uh, will go to here and then that way it'll make it there. Just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, now we'll go back to uh, the other video. Uh, and go in to that URL that it gave you. There we go. Account, standalone, OpenStack, hit enter. And there he is. Got him all spun up. Uh, he might throw a certificate error like he's doing up here. Just tell it, yeah, it's fine to go to it. No big deal. So punch in your user ID, your email and password, and log in. Here he is. So this is the OpenStack Cloud, uh, the landscape GUI. Down here, he has his installation requirements. He needs certain things. He needs a MAS region controller. Uh, the controller has to be available. He has to have three machines 
with more than one disk, which all of our nodes have more than one disk, and he has to have one di one node that has more than one disk that has multiple network connections. Now, if we come over here to nodes on our MAS controller, uh, you can see these plus ones, plus ones. That means those nodes have more than one network card in them. This one, in particular, he's plugged in to the switch, the same switch twice, uh, the same switch that we use for our private network and to wake up these nodes. He's just plug he's got two cables, two cards plugged into the same switch. No big deal. Uh, it's the same type of connection. OpenStack just needs one node with multiple connections, so it can be redundant. No big deal. So hit configure. Now, if all those are green, hit configure, and here we go. We start selecting the machines we want to use in our cloud environment, the software we want to use, um, and once you've done all that, you hit save, and he'll start spinning the nodes up so that we can start spinning up VMs. Uh, I'm going to save that portion for the next video. Uh, so that's it for this one. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.